Hello guys and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am bringing you guys along with me on my 30 day fix with Isogenics. If you guys have not heard about them, please keep on watching. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys do know that I did do a 12-day detox about a year ago. Actually, it's been exactly one year. Um, at that time, I was weighing in about 157, I believe, and I wasn't happy then, and I am 166 now. So I've decided, well, actually, Eric decided for both of us that we were going to be trying Isogenics. Um, his coworker actually um, started the diets and he has lost I believe over 16 pounds with the diet um, it's kind of hard when you try to do diets and you can't really keep them like keep a balance of them so when Eric said that these are diets that you do two smoothies a day and you're still introducing meals I found it that maybe this would be a better option for us than when we did do the 12-day detox every diet you do is gonna be different um, however, um, you guys might not know this, but I did try to do the 12 day detox again after um, I lost the 12 pounds and unfortunately I couldn't do it. Um, my body was just not in it at all. I started getting sick right away. So I just stopped um, after I had wasted a lot of money on all the vegetables and all that good stuff that I bought at that time. But um, I am going to be bringing you guys along with us in the next 30 days of doing the Isogenics um, smoothies. I will be sharing with you guys the good, the bad, and hopefully there's more good than bad into everything that's going on. But I do hope you guys stay tuned and keep following along with me and Eric through this journey. Um, I'm going to be talking through the smoothies more as we advance through the days. Um, this Today is Sunday, uh, tomorrow's Monday, and we're going to be starting the smoothies and starting everything out. So I don't know what we're in for yet. Um, we are going to be introducing working out this time around, so I hope this kind of helps us both. Um, we won't be working out together. Eric works out at work, and I'm going to be working out at home. So we'll see how that goes, but I do hope you guys stay tuned just to see where we end up after these two weeks. So if you guys do want to keep following along, please don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys soon. These are all the things that come in your 30-day supplement. They kind of provide you everything that you're going to need to be able to push through until the end of the 30 day fix. But if you guys do want more information, I will link our friend's name down below so you guys can check him out. Any questions that you guys do have, I would recommend you guys head down over to his Instagram. I can't answer a few of them, but he is probably the best one to answer any questions that you guys might have. It is day three of doing the smoothies. I haven't really spoken to you guys much, but I did want to catch up with you guys. Um, day three now, we've tasted all of the smoothies that we did get. Um, all of them, I think there's six different uh, flavors that we were able to get. Um, by far, my favorite one is the mint chocolate. Um, that's the one I actually had for my lunch today. So that was very good. I am... Um, very excited to keep drinking that one. I hope Eric didn't like it that much so I can just drink it by myself. He very much liked the birthday cake one, which if you guys do decide to do this in the future, I would highly recommend get the mint chocolate. The regular chocolate's good, but the mint chocolate is where it's at. But everything has been fine so far with doing the diets. It hasn't been too hard for me. I think it's harder on Eric. I tell this they have not had any snacks that come in with the package and Eric has had to like dig in there for like to feel more full. I get satisfied with the smoothies per per perfectly fine. I have one in the morning like around 9 and that one carries me on to like 1 p.m. So then I will have my second one like around 2 like when I start feeling hungry and it's been working for me and as soon as I get home I make dinner. So. For me, it's fine, but I think it's because Eric is just used to eating a little bit more than I am. So I think that's why he's feeling that need to eat food, which you guys will learn throughout the days with us. Um, the snacks that come in the package are mostly meant for you to eat them on your cleanse days. The 30-day challenge does come with a two-day cleanse. So for two days, you're not eating the smoothies, you're just cleansing. 
and that's when they have the snacks for you just in case like you're craving those salts and sweets and stuff but I haven't digged in there yet um I think I'll be okay I don't feel like I've lost any weight but I've also haven't um, weighed myself I've been trying to work out when I get home but I'm also making dinner so like I don't have as much time as Eric has to work out but I'm trying to get some workout in and at work I'm trying to use the stairs instead of using the elevator which I mean it's not a lot of stairs but I mean I think something is better than nothing but so far everything has worked perfectly um, our friend who helped us enroll into everything he's been great at telling us exactly what we needed to do before we started so we don't have as many questions when you open the package like it looks like it's so much information and it's like so many things that you need to do but it's actually not that bad and i mean i'm pretty satisfied as far as where we're at now we're only on day three and i'll be inserting clips for you guys to see like our meals that we've been eating I don't cook the healthiest, but I'm trying to see like what fun meals I can cook while still staying healthy. So that's a new challenging story for me too because I'm usually used to cooking like with tortillas and all that good stuff, including it, and that's stuff that we can't eat. So we'll see how it ends up, but um, I am excited to see how the rest of this does continue. This video is gonna be breaking down into two parts. It's gonna be two weeks in one video and then the last two weeks in the second video. So please, if you guys aren't subscribed, I would recommend you guys subscribing so you guys don't miss part two of this video just cause I think that's where you guys will see most of the results. Um, and I will also do an unpackaging for that one so you guys can kind of see how the packaging comes in. Um, it's very easy to like read everything and everything comes refrigerated kind of like everything that needs to be refrigerated because they do include chocolates for you to eat so that all comes included also in there but I'm gonna let you guys go I'm waiting for Eric to get home so we can go ahead and have dinner which is actually in the oven so I'm gonna show you guys a little clip of that and then I'll show you guys how I end up plating it and then I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow if not, I will see you guys soon. It is day five today and I just weighed myself. I did lose a total of 5.3 pounds in five days. That is pretty amazing. I want to say um, I'm noticing a bit of a difference. Um, my stomach seems to be a little bit less bloated from the sides plus my abdomen. Um, my legs, I feel like they're still kind of where they were at and my arms, I still feel like I definitely need to lose more weight. Um, I did mention to you guys that I was gonna be working out so I have been working out um, every day doing the smoothies. I work out for about 20 minutes and um, I, that seems to be helping also. I can't just say it's all the smoothie. That is helping me lose the weight but i think that's mainly why i'm able to lose it um i still haven't had any snacks i know eric is still having snacks before workout because he does feel a little bit nauseated if he doesn't um but i've been pretty good um i haven't been struggling too much at work not eating i think because i'm so busy at work i don't feel hungry so the smoothies um, fill me up enough to not feel hungry at work and then when I get home I do eat the meals that I've been making. I do hope you guys are enjoying the little meal clips I've been inserting for you guys. Um, I haven't been updating you guys too much just because there's not much to update but I did want to share with you guys that I had lost 5.3 pounds till this day so I'm pretty happy for my results. I know I'm going to continue losing weight. It's just a matter of patience and time. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go, but I will see you guys in the next clip. We have made it to the end of the two weeks of doing the diet, and I did want to share with you guys our measurements. The diet itself has been okay so far. Um, there was two days that we did do a cleanse day which did not require us to eat these smoothies and it was more of a pretty much taking a cleanse uh, shake kind of. I mean, it's a powder that goes in your water um, and that was pretty good the first day. The second day it kind of beat me up a little bit. Um, I was very nauseous 
and I did end up throwing up. I feel that, um, I think I haven't been taking snacks as I've been telling you guys and Eric said that maybe if I would have been taking uh, snacks that would have made a difference um, in me not being so nauseous. But that was on Wednesday. Um, I'm a lot better now. Um, I'm pretty happy that we were able to finish off the two weeks. Um, my results weren't as noticeable, I feel, as Eric's. But again, I can't compare myself to Eric. He is a man. Men normally lose a lot of weight a lot faster than women do. But there is changes, you know. Um, I weighed myself Wednesday and I weighed myself again on Friday. And I did not gain or lose weight. So that just a little bit of what I saw in those two weeks. Um, I noticed a lot of weight change. I think the first week for sure I lost, I lost all my weight that first week. That, that first week is where I lost it all. Um, but I've still been trying to stay active, um, exercising, drinking a lot of water and following the guidelines of how they tell you that you should be taking the shakes. So I've been doing all of that, but I did want to share with you guys our measurements. I am going to be looking down to read out to you guys what they are as well as I'm going to insert some pictures so you guys can see our befores and after. I think Eric's before and afters are going to be shocking because he has lost so much weight. Um, he he's starting to have like loose skin in a little like in a like it's noticeable but it's not like a lot you know so that's pretty insane to me because he's lost so much weight but he's been really hard on himself like the way he's been doing the shake so I think that's how he was able to lose a lot more weight than I have been but I'm going to go ahead and insert those pictures and I'm going to go ahead and read out the measurements to you guys for myself to begin the belly was 35.5 now it is at 35. The chest area stayed the same at 38. The neck area, I was 13 to begin with and I ended up at 12.5. For my waist, I started at 30.5 and I am at 29. For the arms, I was at 12 and I am now at 11.5. For my butt, I was 43, I am now 42. For my legs, I was 23, I am now 22. Right above the knee where most of us have a lot of fat, I was 18.5 and now I am 17.5. My calves were 15, are now 14.5. Those were my measurements in inches beginning and how they are now. So going by measurements, I did lose a lot. My most biggest insecurity is my arms. Um, lately, I've been really, like as I'm starting to get flatter in the stomach area, I'm starting to think that my stomach's going to end up being deformed because of how it is. Like a lot of people tell me like, you're so thin, like you don't need to do a detox or a diet or whatever, but it's like, you're going to be your most, like your hardest critic, you know, and nobody can tell you what you can and cannot fix in yourself if you can. So to me it's been working i'm hopeful for these next two weeks and see how they are but i'm going to go ahead and show you guys eric's before and after and i'm going to go ahead and read out to their measurements for the measurements for eric his belly started at 45 he finished at 40 his chest area was at 45 he finished at 42.5 for his neck he was at 18.5 he is now at 17 for his waist he was at 41.5, he is now 40. For his arms, he was at 13, he stayed the same at 13. For his butt, he started at 43 quarters and he finished at 43. For his legs, he started at 23 and a quarter and he finished off at 23. Above the knee, he started at 16.5, he is now at 16. For his calves, he started at 15 and is now at 15.5. Like I mentioned, the results are a lot more noticeable on Eric than they are on myself, but I am very proud of Eric. He's been very tough on himself and he's been going at it and he has really been trying. So I am very proud of him and you can tell by the before and after pictures of how much um, he has lost and it's very noticeable. So I am very happy for him. I am going to let you guys go now, but there is going to be a part two to this video. I actually have the box right here with me and the next video, I'm going to be opening it with you guys and kind of showing you guys more of the things that um, we ended up going with this time around. But if you guys do want to sign up or if you guys have any questions on the isogenics, I am going to leave my friends Instagram information down below. 
I would recommend you guys reaching out to him more so than myself just because he can actually tell you guys everything that I don't know. I This is my first time doing it around. I don't want to give anybody the wrong information. Definitely ask me questions if you feel like I could answer them. But I'm going to be leaving that link down below for you guys to follow him on Instagram and ask him any questions that you guys might have. But if you guys did like the video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are already subscribed and I'll see you guys all in my next video.